Hello there, gamers, minecrafters, adventurers, explorers, modders, and questers. I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome to my version of RL Craft, which I call EQMC EverQuest Minecraft. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure I'm the only one doing something like this. So, this is my version of RL Craft with some extra mods thrown in and uh, quite a few tweaks of my own to include the music, uh, sound effects, uh, and just a few other things. And we're going to be doing this journey, this adventure, across the land of, well, it's not really Norath, but <laughs> uh, the Norath Overland? I don't know. <clears throat> but we're going to be going to the Far Lands, and it's going to be one heck of an adventure. And I'm sure we'll be killed a gazillion times, so let's go ahead and get everything started here and we're going to be using the biomes o plenty uh, mod to do the uh, world that doesn't come with uh, rl craft that's something that i added in myself and we are going to type in mc eq so just in case you want to follow along with me this is the seed that i'm using Let's go ahead and create the world here. And we happen to be underwater. Well, that's always nice. Ah, there's some land over there. Yeah, I love this mod here where instead of chunks just popping out of nowhere, they kind of raise up. I think that's kind of neat. So one of the first things that we need to do, you can't punch trees. You have to get flint. And we lucked out here because we have a small island of gravel, so let's just we'll go ahead and punch gravel. And get absolutely no flint, apparently. Well, I got some. Let's try to get some more flint here, though. We're also going to want to pick up these rocks here. Just right click on them and you're good. Ooh, it looks like there's something down there. Probably don't want to go down there. Give me some more flint. There we go. Okay, well, now we need to swim over there and hopefully we will make it. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to find out here soon. There's a lot of nasty... Uh, creatures in this world. And of course to spice things up I added some more <laughs> because why not? Alright, yay! <laughs> we made it safely. I added a uh, whole bunch more animals so we got seagulls over here 
Mine? 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 Okay, so the next thing we need to do here is punch some leaves so we can get sticks. Okay, and now that we got sticks, now we need to find a hard surface that we can... Aha! Yeah, we can go ahead and make one right here. Oh yeah, there's also temperature in this. If you notice, at the very bo uh, bottom in the middle of my hot bar there, there is a snowflake. Uh, that means it's getting cold. Alright, so I can make a thing of cobblestone here by using the rocks. Then we'll place that down right there. Then we'll just break all that. We'll come over here, take that flint shard and the stick. We're going to make ourselves a knife. Then what we're going to do is just... Oops. <laughs> Use the right tool for the job. There we go. Basically what we want to do is get this grass here and get uh, grass fibers so that way we can make... I got a few here. Yeah, looking good here. Let's get a few more rocks. Okay, so now that we got that, we're going to turn these plant fibers here into string, or plant string. I don't know. Is that is that is that a thing? I have no idea. <laughs> and now that we got that, now we're going to take another stick, another flint shard, and that uh, we're going to make this hatchet. And now that we have a hatchet, now we can start getting wood. Yeah, you, you can't punch wood. There's actually a mod that changes it. It's like the no tree punching mod. Because although you could try punching a tree, I have to say it's not advisable. Oh yeah, and these trees, when you um, chop them, they actually fall too. That's a mod called Dynamic Trees. And there is an extra add-on for Dynamic Trees for the Biomes O Plenty uh, mod. And you may notice that there is a wind blowing. That is a weather uh, mod that I've added. Uh, looking at Okay. So there is a chance of some really nasty uh, storms that can happen. Well, there's wet bugs and everything here. Now when we chop this tree, you got to make sure that it's not going uh, going to land on you because. Well, that wouldn't be fun. Okay, it's going to go that way. Like some deer over there. Oh, 
Also, you can't just run over and pick stuff up either. Oh my goodness. What I do? Get hit? <laughs> Try to do as much as we can here before the sun goes down. Because it is not going to be very fun at night, I can tell you that much. I suppose we could... Oh, we got this gravel. We can make use of that. Let's go ahead and make our first little house right next to this tree. Uh-oh. There is a storm coming. Hopefully it's not a uh, bad storm. Well, there must be some type of bad storm out there because it's trying to... Skeleton right there. <laughs> Talk about a graphical glitch right there. So that would be a skeleton blowing a trumpet, because <laughs> I guess why not? That's why I'm getting pulled. There just happens to be 
a siren. Uh, that would that would be a very um, sinister mermaid, and it's trying to pull me over to them, and they can't because I'm underground. So here's another thing here. Um, that's not it. You have hit points for each of your body points. So they can actually uh, one-shot you uh, in the head. But I believe you can do the same thing to them too. notice that the uh, screen looks very foggy and icy and oh jeez it's it's still they are still trying to pull me over there this rate, I may not survive the night. <laughs> we even have battle music. Yes, I added those sounds in here. <laughs> oh, got to be careful. Somehow he got in here. Dang it. I didn't think there was enough room for him to get in there. Okay, well. 
Welcome to a new place. <laughs> and now we got to start all over again. Uh-oh. Okay, well, now we just got destroyed by the Sun Chief. <laughs> Figures. I was running for that house over there. Maybe it belonged to the Sun Chief. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, this doesn't look good. Ow. The sun's coming up at least. Whoa. <laughs> Skeleton in that direction. We'll just come back this way. Oh, we can't do that. There's actually some very useful ores over here, if we can just... Ah. I think no matter what, we're do what we do, we're stuck. You that skeleton is still over here. Oh, good. Yeah, so we have to start all over again here and hope that we find some gravel once again. Oh, here we go. Not going to make this easy. Okay, I got some flint. That's good.
Yeah, so you have to right click items in order to pick them up. Unless you crouch, then you can pick them up automatically. Which kind of makes sense. Of course, there's a bear over there. Yay. I have got to find some way out of here. You know what? Maybe I can... I have enough gravel. Let's see if I can pillar my way up here. Watch me not have enough. What was that? What'd I do? I have no idea. Oh crap. Oh crap. There's stuff over there. There's something over there. Oh, I think I walked over that cactus. run. <laughs> oh, and that looks like a dragon. Let's go this way. <laughs> Why does that sound like a snake right behind me? Ah, good. Tree. Look at that, it'll leave footprints too. That's cool. Okay, I think those are just... now getting really hot. And I did all that running and now I am really thirsty. And there's the dragon. We'll just we'll make our way this way. Is that enough? Uh, I think that thing sees <gasps> ah that thing sees us. Uh oh. the dragon. Oh, 
Oh, what the hell? What are those things? Ewoks? Okay, well. <laughs> Alrighty. And here we are, yet again. <laughs> Trying to. Yeah, in case you're wondering, folks, this is normal. <laughs> Expect to uh, die a lot. see some course today does not uh, reset so we are apparently we're not going to have very fun tonight We are, um, stuck. Okay. Well, if nothing goes through that window, maybe we'll be okay. <laughs> That sound is from uh, EverQuest, and it was supposed to be for my character, but apparently uh, it winds up being used for random mods, which are mobs, which <laughs> kind of sounds weird. Now, if it's completely dark in here, then uh, some nasty creature will just come out of nowhere and, and get you. So you have to keep some type of window open here.
You may also notice those water droplets. Yeah, you have to eat and drink, two separate things. There's a blight zombie out there. Those trumpet skeletons are going to get annoying after a while. <laughs> I think that might be one mod that I'll remove. Apparently there's another mod that adds uh, other instruments to other mobs. And those zombies happen to be more aware of where you are. And there's a whole bunch more of them. You may notice in the upper right corner I have a little mini map. That's something that I added. All those yellow dots I think are mobs. I thought it would be the red ones. But on previous plays, it didn't turn out to be that way. That skeleton is like right above me. Oh, there's the uh, skeleton. <laughs> Half going through the wall there. Oh, I wish I had paid more attention on that first one. We were doing so well. I guess that uh, tree trunk was thin enough to be considered invisible for a mob to rock right straight through it. can turn daylight anytime. Of course, I'll, I'll wait here all night and then something else will kill me.
That trumpet is making me crazy. I have just want to go out there and let them kill me so I can spawn someplace else. <laughs> Daylight! You can see them over there. Boy, they're trying to get over that. It looks like there is grass over in this direction, according to that mini-map. Oh, what the heck. Let's go get that... Figures, I can't break that block. Yeah, there are also skill levels in order to do certain things, too. You can't just uh, wear whatever armor you want or break whatever uh, block that you want, you have to actually use your skill points and skill stuff up.
Okay, good. I got wool. I'll be able to make a bed at least. Once I'm able to uh, cut down some wood, that would be great. And I need I have to go back and find gravel again. There's some gravel. Of course it's not going to give me what I want, but... are not looking out here. Yes. Turkeys, yay! <laughs> Let's make that block here. Uh, let's see. Okay, she's safe. <laughs> she will keep us safe. I need more wood. Or sticks. Dang it. Alright, we got one. Oh shoot, that's right. You gotta turn that into a string. Okay, let's go cut down a tree here. Birch is going to really come in handy here. Uh oh. Tiger. And they are. Let's just go back over here.
I don't know how well this is going to go. Can't, you have to um, do this in order to make wood planks. I think we're okay for the moment. Let's go ahead and yeah, there's a skeleton out there. And now that we have the wood planks, now it's kind of like good old... Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Let's just put that right there. At least now we have the bed. <laughs> but we can't sleep because there's monsters nearby. <laughs> okay, I don't think they're going to be able to get in here. Oh, they got far enough away. Yay! I've been able to sleep. Yay. Oh, and I'm outside of my little house. Nice. Crap. No, no. By the way, I've got a, uh, I've got the, something that allows me to leave a corpse. <laughs> so there it is. So at least I've got access to my stuff again. I'm not randomly spawning somewhere. Oh, <laughs> 
Uh, okay, so... Let's put this birch wood down here. Tells me we might be hanging out here for a while. adventure in EQMC will continue next week. Remember to like the video and share because it really helps out the channel and you want to help out, right? Sure you do. Subscribing also helps not only us, but you too. You'll get notified of future Minecraft content. Now that's killer cool. Check out the other Minecraft series on this channel. Thanks so much for watching and have a killer awesome day.